It's been one year since Belize declared its first positive case of COVID-19. And that morning, when the PM made the announcement, he made one thing very clear. We have our first confirmed case, but we mustn't overreact and we mustn't panic. But while San Pedro was the first town to experience a lockdown, the rest of the country wasn't far behind. And suddenly, the unthinkable became the inevitable. Travel across district lines is curtailed and Easter is cancelled. Belize's first COVID casualty, Hubert Pipersberg, died on Sunday at the KHMH from respiratory complications. On Good Friday, we went from the sudden appearance to the sudden death of patient 10. By Sunday, there were four more cases, and by Monday, there were another four. The time has now come to take the ultimate step. The entire country of Belize will be placed under quarantine. From there, life in Belize took a major turn, as a much-talked-about new normal set in. There seems to be an abundance of masks on Belize city streets this week. Gone are the days when Belizeans would give the side-eye to overcautious Asian travelers. It's now the era of COVID-19, and despite the World Health Organization's advice that masks don't help to protect those who aren't sick, it seems that Belizeans would rather be safe than sorry. Eventually, though, skies seemingly cleared, and Belize's COVID-19 numbers started trending down. And by the 8th of May, we'd reached a milestone 28-day post-initial infection, the end of the first wave. Again, we won't say we are COVID-19 free. We would say that we have gone through our first wave. From shell shock, empty streets and mask wearing germaphobes to a society wanting to shake off the COVID shackles, perhaps prematurely, at this party, police had to break up last night. And while we wait for the go ahead to swarm these inviting beaches and leave it not only to the birds, the looming threat of COVID-19 is alive well, and spiking in all of our neighboring countries. Sherry's Halsell, 7 News.